All right, welcome back. Um, last time I told you we were going to, uh, I was going to come back and create this bar timer. Uh, I did this one last time. It took like 20 minutes. Uh, this is, both of these are for a quiz page that I'm making. This is going to be the time for the whole quiz, and this is going to be time for one question right now set at five seconds. All right, so let's go ahead and create this effect. So first thing we're going to have to do is let's get this started. I've already went gone ahead and laid out the HTML for you to use. Um, one thing you probably notice is this color right here is just a div with a gradient. So you could set that to whatever color you want and that's right here for the background for the div. So go ahead and pause it right here. Um, take a couple of minutes and set this up. Make sure that this div right here you have another div inside um, because essentially what's happening here is this div here there's another div that is covering it up it's not actually removing anything it's just another div on top with a different color that's covering it up over um, a five second time frame so once again go ahead and pause the video right here and get this copy down and then come on back okay um, now that you have the HTML down and some basic CSS CSS is up to you and these colors right here are totally up to you you don't need three colors um, you can go red and just green, or you can go blue and purple, whatever. Um, you could probably add more colors to this as well. I'm just going with red, yellow, and green, and I'll change that later on. Uh, you will need these two functions right here, and similar to the last one, it is a composite function. You have this initialized bar count. So let's go ahead and get this started. Uh, the first thing we need to do is create a reference, and we're going to say var div time left, which is this div right here and is equal to document dot get element by ID div time left. Okay, so let's save this. And when you do set it up, by the way, I didn't actually open that. The one you saw was one that I finished. So if you, this is one that I just finished, but uh, this is the one that I have. So if you open it, all you have right now is this, but it doesn't work when you click on it. It is on an on-click event at the moment. We'll change. Uh, you can change that to your liking uh, later on. So after you do that, we need another one. Bar uh, div count down bar equals, let's just copy, I should have just control d that, but I didn't. So copy, paste, and let's just paste that in here. Uh, as I said, I like my variables to be the same name as the object. It's just a lot easier um, for reference. That's just me. And then after that, we're going to say var start timer is equal to set interval. And we're going to call it, I have it called bar count right now call it whatever you want and we're going to call that every 10 milliseconds or you can um, as I said last time you could go ahead and not even do this part you could just write this at anonymous function and just insert all the code in there um, but as I said I just prefer um, my functions to have names all right so that takes care of that that takes care of our um, instantiation of our variables that's all we need from there and it is just a couple of lines from here. So once you get into bar count, we're going to say if div timer dot left. Oh, excuse me, div time left. Sorry. Dot client width is less than div countdown bar dot client. With. Okay, so what's happening is you're starting with this second div, this div time left has no width. Okay, it's, it's, that's why you don't see it. And then we're just going to expand the width one pixel at a time um, until it covers. So if it's less than that, we're going to say div time left dot style dot width equals div time left dot client width plus one plus pixels. So 
So essentially what we're doing is we're taking this div time left and every 10 milliseconds we're uh, changing the width by one pixel. Now that's up to you. You want to change it by two pixels, it'll get done twice as fast. Or if you want to do two pixels and change this to five milliseconds, th that's up to you. You're going to have to um, fiddle with this to your liking. Okay. Else, div time left dot style dot width is going to be equal. So in other words, as long as this the div time left, the second div is less than the div countdown bar, which is this whole width right here. Sorry, you might hear cabin in the woods on in the background. Um, so as long as the, the other div is less than this whole width, we're going to increment it by one. Else, if they're the same, we're just going to say okay then we got to make sure because it might overlap by one so we'll say div countdown bar dot client width plus pixels so in other words if we're done just make sure this all this is doing is making sure that once we are equal um, once this is no longer true it's going to say okay because in, just in case it does overlap by one pixel or maybe you're going to do two pixels or three pixels, so it might overlap by more. We're just going to set it equal to the total width of um, div countdown bar. And then lastly, we just need to clear interval of start time. And if we go and refresh our browser, this should work. And there you go. Now I am thinking about adding like a little counter to go along with this, so. Um, when the uh, the question is going, there's going to be like a little five, four, three, two, one. Um, I'm thinking about doing that. Um, if I do, I'll go ahead and post that in a future video and hope this um, hope this was able to help you for whatever you need it for on uh, your website. And thank you for watching.